in quad phase tools, um, 0 0.4, there's a new unwrapping uh, tool. And it's, a, it's a very simple and crude tool. It, uh, it only works for simple meshes that can be mapped to a two-dimensional grid, um, like the, the one you see here. Uh, it's not the mesh doesn't have to be two-dimensional, as you can see this one um, isn't, but it's basically a two-dimensional grid deformed. Now we can use the unwrapping tool by picking, uh, similar to the um, UV mapping and copying tools, you pick an origin and U and V direction where it then generates um, a flat grid representing uh, the mesh you just picked with the uh, exact same UV mapping. Now, when I have this flat grid, I can go into this one and I want to do is select all of this. And when we use um, SketchUp's, I think it's SketchUp 8, which introduced the combined texture uh, feature, which, of course, um, it doesn't allow you to do that if all the faces have the exact same material. So um, I'm just going to select one of these faces here. And I'm going to make that unique. And you see there's a new material. This is two materials because that face was triangulated. But that's not important because now this selection of faces is got more than one material, which will make SketchUp show the menu I want. And this is this one, Combine Textures. And I do not want to erase the interior edges because they are important. Uh, and now we have the new material here, as you can see, which has been applied to the selection. With that, I can now uh, choose. Actually, I would have to select a single face. Yeah. So I can get the texture and then edit texture image. I'm just going to resize this to fit. Now we have the same texture in, in Photoshop, and I can do uh, some drawings or anything. Uh, Pick something here, darken, well it doesn't really matter what we do here, do Z, make some lines around, and if I then go and save that back, close it, SketchUp has updated it. Now, once you've done this, you can use the uh, UV copying method and copy the texture from this flat version back. to the curved version, which didn't work for some reason. It's quite strange. Let me try that again. I copy and then paste. And there we go. The texture is back. Now, 
good thing about this is you can just keep coming back <coughs> and you can edit um, or, or draw the textures as you want as they are um, presented in um, in SketchUp uh, to make them fit exactly your geometry. This is just very quick and dirty. And now you see, since it was using the same material, they both are updates. Actually, I didn't have to go back to the flat one, I could have just gone back here now and, and, um, and edited this texture here because it's all been mapped and, and it's already fitting onto the geometry um, quite well. Just as an example of the kind of geometry you can't use, is this. Uh, the geometry is too complex. Um, as you can see here, the um, it doesn't map to, to a simple two-dimensional grid. You got many loops and rings going in all kinds of different directions and um, well, the current tool can't deal with that but you can for instance make a, a sub-selection which, which do form a um, which do form a simple grid if you select that Well, here we clearly have a bug, but I'm going to fix that later on. Um, yes, so <laughs> um, keep away from complex um, uh, topology like this <coughs> for the time being and stick with simple ones like this. 